wearing your helmet back to front. You've got your new bike, you've bought your new kit, you've purchased a helmet. Please, please, please don't make the mistake of putting it on back to front, you'll never live it down. Wearing underpants underneath your cycling shorts. However you call them, underwear, pants, briefs, knickers, they should never be worn underneath your cycling shorts. The chamois should be next to your skin. Using a top tube or frame bag. The less that's on your bike, the better. However, if you must have a bag to carry spares on your bike, make it a small saddle bag, not a top tube or a frame bag. Not taking out enough food and drink with you. It's happened to all of us and it's the worst feeling in the world. Running out of fuel, hitting the wall, bonking, whatever you want to call it, it's something that you don't want to happen often, so make sure you take out adequate supplies or money. Not being prepared for mechanical failure. You're out on a lovely ride a long way from home, enjoying the scenery and the sense of achievement. Then all of a sudden, a loud hissing noise comes from your wheel. It's a puncture. Got a spare in a tube and pump? No. Got money for a taxi? No. Got a phone? Yes. Let's hope you've got some good friends or family. Remember, always take out two spare tubes, a pump, tyre levers, an Allen key set, a chain tool, and that should cover most emergencies. Overeating before a big event. You've done all the training, months of hard work, organisation and preparation has gone into your big event, the longest you've ever ridden. Right, better fuel up for it. Pasta! And a bit more, and a bit more. Actually, probably better have that fourth plate too. It's a long old ride tomorrow. Wrong! Don't eat too much pasta before your big event. You'll feel bloated and could get the feeling of having blocked legs. Eat enough, but not too much. Getting lost. The great thing about cycling is the sense of exploration. Riding somewhere you've never been before, even from your home. Don't make the mistake of getting lost though, or underestimating how long a route is going to take or you could be riding home in the dark. Doing too much, too soon. Cycling is an easy sport to get obsessed with. The more you do, the better you get, right? Wrong. There comes a point when your body needs rest to absorb the training you've done. If you don't take it, or if you ignore the signs of overtraining and fatigue, then you can quickly dig yourself a very big hole. Not drinking enough. No, we don't mean at the bar we mean on the bike. Long rides result in a lot of fluid loss and it can be easy to forget to drink enough, especially if you're on a big event. If it's hot, by the time you're really thirsty, it's probably too late and you're going to pay for it at the end of the ride. Failing to unclip when you come to a stop. Shiny new bike, shiny new pedals and shiny new shoes. First time with clipless pedals? When you come to a stop, don't forget to twist your foot out. Otherwise, you'll do an embarrassing, slow motion, fall to the floor. Come on, it's the last long interval. When you've got the tiny bit inserted, before you start applying any pressure, the inner tube isn't caught. It 